welcome back to Witchfinder's Gaming Vault and today from the vault I'm plucking a Commodore 64 game and that game is Bedlam. So let's take a look at the fact file for this game as we always do. Bedlam was released in 1988 in Europe, it's published by Go and developed by Beam Software and the price I paid for this according to my database was absolutely nothing. I suspect it came as part of a bundle and I sold the other items in the bundle which meant that the games I kept cost me nothing. And the current going rate for this game, well, it's anybody's guess really. There's copies on eBay right now going from anything from three to 20 pounds. And a copy recently sold on eBay in the Netherlands for 15 pounds, which seems like a crazy amount of money for this kind of game, but what do I know? So anyway, let's take a look at the game now and see whether it was worth that 15 pounds that some crazy person paid for it on eBay. Let's kick things off by taking a look at the packaging for the game then. As you can see, it says Bedlam. There's a lot of zigzagging colored lines in the background. There's a guy on the ground there with kind of space suit on uh, and it looks like he's throwing a frisbee there uh, so that's a bit strange intergalactic havoc a meteoric madhouse it's space age bedlam it says at the top there you can see the ghost software logo and this also has a sticker on saying it was a special purchase for 199 i can't get that sticker off without doing any damage to the packaging so i'll leave it there originally this game cost 10 pounds i think so let's take a look at the spine and it basically just says the go logo and bedlam on it in a very boring font and then on the back it says as a cadet in the stellar imperium's pilot academy you may have thought you were hot stuff but the instructors had a surprise in store for you the academy puts its trainees through one final test the x12 fighter simulator simply known as bedlam and then as you can see from the screenshots it's very obviously a scrolling shoot em up vertically scrolling so i don't know what's going on in the front with this guy with his frisbee because it doesn't seem to have any relevance to the game at all so looking inside the inlay first so we've got the description of the game in french and german and then we get onto the instructions, uh, loading instructions as you'd expect. Uh, you can see there it's one or two player, player one import one and player two import two. You've got other options such as toggling music and sound effects, quitting the current game. And this is an interesting one, the Commodore key restarts where you left off in the previous game. Uh, so that suggests that you can sort of continue effectively without having to start right from the start. And it goes on to talk about the gameplay, 16 space stations plus a special bonus formation stage. Uh, teleport entrances to four pinball machines hidden in various space stations. There's a dual player mode, as I already mentioned, there's one or two players. Players can't shoot each other, but you can bounce each other around. If one player dies, he can't come back. I'm not, I don't even know why I'm reading this, because I'm obviously only going to be playing a one-player game. Let's move on. So there's some space station services to fly over. Uh, radar and guns can be destroyed. It's in your own interest to destroy the guns as soon as possible. Revolving guns shoot in all directions. Stands to reason. Uh, moving on. We've got aliens, progressively formations become more complex as you come further through the game. Uh, shooting entire formations is one of the major aims of Bedlam. Not only do you receive a large bonus, but you also get limited duration and invincibility. Sounds useful. Every fourth section there's a large threatening alien mothership. You can only destroy it when its eyes are fully open. Uh, there's missiles, two kinds, drifting and homing. There's a lot going on in this game by the sounds of it. And there's also some pickups. We've got invincibility, mines, and then that continues over here. And we've got uh, life and teleport. And te passing over the teleport will teleport you into a pinball machine. So as it mentioned before, there's some pinball machines. So this bonus pinball game uh, with various stuff going on, bonuses to collect. You've got to hit the ball and not get hit by the ball or you get blown up basically is what it's saying there lots of information uh, yeah so lots of details there and there's also a bit of information here if you enjoyed this game don't miss these other go titles tomorrow software today ramparts captain america sidearms brave star wizard wars trantor and coming soon laser tag iron hand gunsmoke bad cat and bionic commando so there are a lot going on go software i think most of those games were quite terrible though uh, they weren't really renowned as being a particularly good publisher as i recall so there we go, those are the instructions. Let's get the game loaded up and see what it's like. Just realized I forgot to have a look at the tape for this one, so there it is. It wasn't really worth the extra 10 seconds of footage really, was it? It's just a black text on a white label. So the game is loading and here's the loading screen. Pretty colorful stuff, nice blue backdrop, which is the surface of the spaceship that you're flying over, I guess. And there's your spaceship on the left, blasting a nice big explosion and there's a big smoke cloud and it says bedlam in it that looks absolutely nothing like the front cover artwork but more representative of what the game's like i think so yeah nice and colorful bit cartoony so not really in keeping with the style of the game which is probably a little bit more sci-fi serious but all the same a pretty nice loading screen
Okay, so here's the title screen. As you can see, the Bedlam logo showed up for a moment there. And then we've got a sort of demo of one of the levels scrolling along in the background. So you can see what's going to come up for you when you play. Some pretty decent music in the background. No credits on the game as far as I can see. So I don't know who the programmers were. I know it's Beam Software, but beyond that, I'm not sure who the exact programmers or musicians were on it, but never mind. There's a preview of the... Uh, boss mothership thing that was mentioned in the instructions anything else to show us before I just start the game no that seems to be about it right okay well let's get on with it then well, there was a high score table there I didn't mention that uh, so it's a vertically scrolling shoot em up very typical uh, bass relief style oh well, that didn't last very long there did I uh, bass relief style graphics like you saw in lots of games of this era uh, even games like Warhawk that came out a few years before this had that kind of style so that's nothing special particularly uh, so the idea is you're scrolling up the screen shooting everything uh, blowing stuff up uh, avoiding missiles and things and uh, as it mentioned in the instructions if you shoot oh dear that's another homing missile gone if you shoot a, a whole sequence of enemies and you get temporary uh, invincibility which you definitely need because this game is quite hard uh, th those homing eyes are particularly annoying and we'll get to see more of those later hopefully if I get through obviously I'm doing terribly here on this first go but uh, we'll see how we get on oh no there we go again I think that's game over it is that was a terrible start let's try again So as it mentioned in the uh, instructions, uh, knowing where the guns are is useful because you really need to try and shoot them before they start shooting at you because it's quite hard to shoot them once they start shooting. Um, obviously there's some guns that don't shoot straight at you so that's good. Uh, some shoot sideways, I've missed another sequence of enemies there but I've got further than I did in the first go already. Oh yeah I want to get all these and get some invulnerability right yeah so now the ship's flashing and here's the entry to the first of these pinball machines which again were mentioned in the instructions so basically here you can just kind of shoot stuff uh, the thing you've got to do is not get hit by the ball uh, because the ball hits you then you die like exactly what just happened and you get sent back to the start of the previous level so yeah that's annoying as well uh, I, I could have done uh, doing a bit better there. Oh dearie me, this is going really really badly at the moment. It's one of those games where it's hard to talk about it and play it at the same time. Uh, so I've got the shoot the first wave of enemies there which means I've got the invincibility. This block here you can actually blow that up if you shoot it enough times. Um, so yeah most things on the play area can be destroyed. But there's oh, some you'll crash into, like the guns and things like that. And others, when you crash into them, you bounce off them. So there's a bit of trial and error involved there. I did get my name in this time. Oh, it's gone in lowercase, but there we go. Carry on. Play again. So let's go again. See if I can get it any further this time, because so far it's been abysmal. So yeah, there's lots of things that you can shoot on the surface of the uh, ships. Uh, there's a few things that you can't, but like for example, these pyramids here, you bounce off those, so that's interesting. Oh, yeah, it's quite annoying when you get hit and you die, you get sent back to the start of the uh, level again as well. Uh, so that does make it a bit tedious, but hopefully I can make some progress eventually. I'm just uh, being terrible at the moment, and I apologize for that. It happens sometimes. So yeah, those uh, things with the pink and yellow lights on the top, you can blow those up. Oh, it's got me again. It's This firing's a bit intermittent, so that sometimes you, you will shoot those rows of enemies really easily, and other times one of them will just sneak past you. It takes a bit of time to get into. Yeah, that's the thing I was talking about there. If you keep shooting that, it will blow up. Oh, it's got me again. I'm just getting stuck. I'm just going to avoid those. That was just terrible. Let's go. Oh, I've got the top score now at least. Didn't type my name in though. Uh, yeah, let's go again. 
I'm just going to try and avoid that series of uh, enemies there because I'm just making no progress at all. Okay, so I've got the temporary invincibility again. Yeah, let's just avoid that this time. What have we got next? Oh, now that one's blown me up. I said I'm just putting myself in harm's way here for no good reason. This is just a, a really bad demonstration of this game so far. I promise you. Oh, I promise you, I can get past the first stage. Uh, just not today, it seems. Perhaps I should talk a little bit about the graphics and sound while I'm trying to get through this. So graphics, as I said, it's that kind of style of a lot of scrolling shooters from this era. Uh, I've got some invincibility here which might help because it's, I've not been getting through it very easily until this point. Um, yeah, so I've still got... no, it's gone now. Okay, there's more invincibility as well. Right, let's go back into this pinball thing and see if I can do this right this time. Uh, so yeah, graphics are pretty straightforward, there's nothing special about them, they've got the usual uh, sort of things you'll see in uh, these kind of games of this era. Uh, they're okay, I mean the movement of the, the uh, ship is quite nice, it's quite smooth, um, you know everything's drawn reasonably nicely but there's nothing really outstanding there. So yeah, you've, you've got to keep away from the ball but also try and shoot it because while the ball's in play in the pinball section you get more points. Uh, and there's lots of bumpers and things you can shoot as well y you do kind of get pinged around it as well but yeah I've got a bunch of points for being in there and that's actually finished the first stage as well now so I'm on to stage two which is largely more of the same with things to shoot uh, various different uh, aliens and things like that that look a little bit different to the first stage but uh, overall it's very similar uh, the background colour, the main colour that's currently blue does change eventually um, after a few stages, oh there we go, got shot yeah and that's game over but the good news now is uh, firstly I've got the top score but secondly I can now press the Commodore key and continue on stage 2 so we never have to see me uh, struggle through stage 1 again now you'll see me struggle through stage 2 instead it's really imperative to shoot these sequences of aliens that come down because that invulnerability uh, really is really needed at certain points uh, and it's very hard to progress without it. So there we go, I've got the invulnerability now. Now suddenly this section is really quite easy. A um, little bit of manoeuvring to do there. There's an M, that's a mine that just destroys everything on the screen. Didn't get the last wave there, but I think that's it. Yeah, I'm now on to wave three, so there we go. Didn't take me too much to get through wave two. And as you can see, as I was saying, the background call has changed now. Uh, so yeah, the sound effects are your typical sort of sound effects for these. Oh yeah, that was inevitable. Uh, the typical sort of sound effects for these kind of games. It's firing noise and explosion noises. They're reasonably nicely done, but nothing special. But what you can do is put the in-game tune on, which I'm going to do in a second, uh, just for a bit of a change. Oh, that's hard to get past. I can't quite work out how best to do that. Is that game over? No, it's not. Let's press T, which puts the music on, which I'm really quite fond of. I think it's pretty decent. Uh, and, and you don't really get to hear that much of it on the title screen, simply because there's, uh, there's only like a limited amount of time that it shows the demo before it resets itself. So this is the best chance to hear this music, <laughs> if you don't get blown up. I think that's game over now. Yeah it is, but I can continue on level 3 and try and get a bit further. As you can see it's a pretty hard game, um, pretty unforgiving and the fact you get sent back to the beginning of the stage every time you die is a bit frustrating. But that's how it is. Come on then. I'm, trying, I'm pressing the Commodore key and nothing's happening at the moment. For some reason when it puts the title up you can't start a game. There we go, I'm in now. kind of like the sort of uh, backdrops this music, the sort of the beat that's going on in the background, I think that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, there's a place to sit yourself on the screen for nearly all these waves of enemies, you just have to learn it, it's very much a, 
memory test type thing where you've got to be in the right place to shoot the guns before they start shooting at you and uh, the right place to get the uh, sequences of aliens so that they don't crash into you. Didn't get them all that time. Let's see if we can get this one right this time. Nope, it's got me again. Again, perhaps avoidance is just better than trying to shoot these things sometimes, but obviously the aim of the game is to score as many points as you can. I do like playing with the tune on, but also... Oh, that gun shot me from the other side then. Uh, it, it, it's kind of better when you've got the sound effects on for actually sort of detecting where things are, I think. Particularly the homing uh, missiles, which we'll see more of if I can... Oh no, I've started back on level 1 now. You don't need to see this anymore. I'm just going to kill myself off. Oh no, I can't even do that now. I've got to play through the first few levels again. This has quite honestly been a disastrous review so far. Uh, I'm going to do that uh, and get back to at least level 3 and then uh, let's try and salvage something from this uh, pathetic review that I've done so far. Okay, back on level 3 then, after going through levels 1 and 2 a couple of times. And uh, let's give it another go. See if I can master this a little bit, because it's been terrible so far. Oh, and that's terrible again. There's, there's clearly a point you need to sit on the screen to shoot that row of enemies so that you don't end up getting hit by them, but I'm really struggling. The whole uh, review so far has been a struggle. Just missed a couple of them. Oh, and I've crashed into that gun emplacement. Sometimes it feels like your bullets just aren't making contact with the things you want to hit. Uh, it's a little bit frustrating. Uh, and it's a bit of a shame because overall I think it's quite a nicely put together game. Uh, but it, it does have high frustration levels. It's definitely hard. And uh, the good thing is that because you can restart on a level that you've already... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, how many times have I go go through this? Um, because you can restart on the level you've already attempted, um, you've only got to get past one level to start making progress. Uh, so it does have that one more go factor uh, and because the levels are also quite short generally so you can get through them in like a minute or so so there's always a chance that you can make a bit more progress or not in my case it seems at the moment but uh, generally there's a chance you can make a bit of progress and get to the next stage and, and see a little bit more of the game uh, whether you'd ever get through all 16 levels I'm not entirely sure because it is crazy difficult and it gets a lot more difficult than you're seeing here I can assure you okay well I finally got past that lot see if I can get this bit right this time. Oh, this is looking promising. Okay, I've got some invincibility. I've got a chance. Depending on how long that lasts. Let's get in the pinball machine again. Just for a bit of variety. This is an interesting idea as well. I mean, it's a bit weird, but um, it's kind of kind of a fun idea, I suppose. You need to keep shooting that pinball. Oh, there it's gone now. Because if the pinball hits you, as I said, you... you lose and you have to restart the level but I can get through this and I should get to level 4 and we'll finally start seeing something new oh uh, kind of don't want to hit that but it is going to bounce out at some point okay that was too fine at this point I just want to get through it I don't really want to worry about uh, hitting the pinball and getting more points and there we go I've reached the end which means I'm now on to level 4 finally a bit of progress for how long who knows Okay, so that, oh, <laughs> yeah, these homing um, missiles become a real problem uh, from this point on because they don't just, as a bit of invincibility though, they, they, they tend to start to like home in on you rather than just following a set path, uh, so they can be really frustrating. Oh, a bit of invincibility there, that was useful, I still had that. Oh, and here's the... Uh, the mothership thing. Oh, and I got shot by a gun. But there we go, we saw it. That's pretty nicely done. Lots of sprites there. Combined together into a big sort of robot head. Uh, didn't even get the top score after all that. But let's give level 4 another go. Let's also switch back to the, uh, the music. Yeah, getting that invincibility thing really early on is very helpful just need to try here. You can see these things homing in on you. They get really annoying. Look, go away. Let's 
So the invincibility when you collect the power up lasts longer than when you shoot the uh, the number of enemies. I can't even get close to this thing. No, it's going to get me. So you can only shoot it when the eyes are open, but then you get no chance to go underneath it and actually try and shoot it. Uh, okay. Frustration again. Ooh. Yeah, without the invincibility here, you'd probably be dead straight away, so it's a good job you can pick that up right from the start. What we really need to do is shoot another wave uh, before we reach the boss, so I've still got some invincibility. Like, you're just sitting Oh, the gun's got me again. Yeah, I really need that invincibility from that row of enemies halfway through the stage to be able to get through this. And this is a bit of a problem with the game. Yeah, without the invincibility stuff, uh, it, it's really difficult to make any progress, which is a bit of a shame, as I say, because overall I think it's a pretty nicely designed game. Zap, by the way, gave this game 40%, which I would say is a bit harsh. Um, it's not brilliant, but I guess the problem was, in 1988, you already had budget games that were as good as this, things like Warhawk and stuff like that, so I guess that's the reasoning behind why they, they only gave it... Um, oh, that was close that time why they only gave it 40% but I still have thought it's worth 60% uh, a lot of copies of it have the 199 sticker on I noticed a few copies on eBay that did um, which mine also has so clearly it didn't sell many copies at full price and it was re-released or re-stickered with this bargain 199 price wow it lasted no time at all that time um, so yeah, for what, if you're picking it up for 199, I think it's a de pretty decent game at budget price. Oh dearie me, this is just ridiculously bad. Uh, which just summed up the whole review really. I would like to try and get a bit further, but uh, it's not going well at the moment. But the music's cool, so that's one good thing. Right, this is where I need to shoot this sequence of circular enemies. Here we are. Oh, they've come over the other side. That's the other thing. You don't know which side they're going to come from. Uh, so that makes it tricky as well. So here I am again, just trying to make it past this boss with limited success, I imagine. Okay. I'm shooting it, but it's making no difference. Yeah, well, I didn't die, and I made it to level 5, so at least that's progress. And now we've got a grey background instead of the blue, so a bit of change again. And that's game over again. Uh, let's give it another go on level 5 because we barely saw that. Perhaps another couple of goes and then I think I'm done. It's been uh, not a great uh, display of gaming prowess, it has to be said. Whoop, there we go. Yeah, again, to get through that, you need to shoot that sequence of aliens uh, to have any chance, really. So if I sit at the bottom of the screen, and, no, no, they got me again. You've got to really get them as they come on the screen from the top as well. It's uh, really hard. Which is kind of typical for games of this era. There we go, I've got some invincibility, that's good. I've got an L, that's an extra life. So it doesn't show you how many lives you've got on the screen either. That's a bit of a strange thing that you wouldn't normally get in a lot of games. So obviously it's also got two player modes. So, oh, there we go. <laughs> Those homing things got me. So that would add a bit of value to it as well. Uh, not that we're seeing that here, but uh, yeah, overall, oh dear. Yeah, I think I'm running out of patience. Let's give it one more try, just to see if I can make a bit of progress through level 5. I'm going to switch back to uh, sound effects as well, because uh, that... Oh, <laughs> honestly, awful. Uh, I'm going to switch back to sound effects because you'll be able to hear when those homing things are coming, which is quite important. No, that's awful. As you can see, at least you know they're around, because they're quite hard to spot otherwise. But yeah, level 5, the difficulty level, really goes through the roof. Uh, as if it wasn't bad enough already. Yeah, there goes, there goes another game. Go on, let's give it one more try. I would like to just make a little bit of progress in this stage, but I think I've reached my limit. Uh, and you've probably reached your limit of watching me fail over and over again at these this game. So there we go, there's some invincibility early on, so that'll help. Now what I need to do is get more invincibility. Go away, you. Um, when the next lot come. Let's see if we can do that. No, I managed to somehow look at this. I mean, really, get away from me. Oh, i actually done alright there. This is the most progress you've seen now. No, those things kill me. Oh, yeah. 
but let's go again. I've got three lives left still. Theoretically, you could go on forever on this stage if you can pick up that extra life every time. Then you could go on forever, I've just realised. So, interesting. Not great uh, game design, but there you go. Let's see how we get on here. Oh, there we go. So I've got some invincibility again now. So I can possibly make further progress. Need to hit this lot right. Yeah, got it again. You get a nice big bonus score as well. I'm going, doing quite well here. Is that level 5 completed? It is. I'm on to level 6. Excitement. This is as good as it's going to get. Uh, this will be the last game, I think, now. I think we've seen enough. Oh, they, yeah, they want to kill me. Oh, there's a little gap in the middle of the screen there, though, uh, where they don't go. So if I sit myself in the right place, I should be able to, uh, to get these. Didn't get all of them, but at least I didn't die. What's next? What is going on here? Oh no, how am I going to get past that? Oh okay, I did it. Oh. oh, this is as far as I've got in the game, I think. I haven't seen much of this before, so probably not going to last too long. Again, I think without the invincibility you've got no chance. Oh no, okay. Uh, yep. Any lives left? One life left. This will be it now. <laughs> well that sums it up really doesn't it so on that note I think we'll uh, call it a day on that game I I'm definitely going to keep it as it costs me nothing anyway and uh, I think it's a reasonable shooter it's definitely challenging it does have that one more go factor as you've seen from me keep plugging away at it and I did actually make some progress in the end so it wasn't too bad in the end although you had to see me play level 1 way too many times for my liking and probably yours as well so if you've got any thoughts about Bedlam this Commodore 64 game then let me know in the video comments and that'll do for this one okay so I've got two games left in this tin so it's not much of a random selection it's one of two one of them is a Commodore 64 game and the other one is a PS1 game so let's see what we draw out this time around for the next video and it is the other Commodore 64 game F1 Tornado, another shoot 'em up. So next time around, I'll be playing F1 Tornado on the Commodore 64. Join me for that in the near future. Thanks very much for watching this video. See you in the next one.